We're down here at the Flash Memory Summit in California this week showcasing Micron's Flash Memory Wares. Right now we're in Calypso Systems booth talking with Eden Kim, CEO of Calypso Systems. Thanks Eden for talking with us. My pleasure. Could you tell us a little bit about um, Calypso Systems and give us an overview of your history? Calypso is a SSD test and engineering company. We do test engineering services and we make custom test equipment for SSD, OEMs, and controller developers. So I think this here is one of your testing platforms. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, we call this the RTP and it stands for the Reference Test Platform. Uh, it is compliant with the new SNEA SSSI performance test specification and it delineates a hardware and software environment so that you can do comparative testing of solid state drives. Why is standardized testing important for SSDs? Uh, the performance of SSDs is really dependent on the hardware and software environment. So if you want to compare two drives, you have to use the same hardware and the same software. Also, the hardware can bottleneck the solid state drive. Since they're so fast, if you don't have a fast enough test platform, you may not get the full performance of your drive. And lastly, the software is very important in terms of what kind of measurements you get. So if you use the same hardware and software, you can compare drives from different manufacturers and have a good comparison number. I know you tested the real SSD P300 to some of the competitive drives. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, the P300 uh, was tested against the Intel X25e and the Samsung SS805. All three devices are enterprise class SSDs and we tested them on two groups of tests. One group of tests was to this SSSI performance test specification, and those were tests that were done at steady state. And that means that the drives were preconditioned to get them into a stable performance range, and they were tested for three things, IOPS, throughput, and latency. In addition to those three SNEA tests, we did two additional Calypso tests. One is called write saturation, and the other one is called latency histogram. The right uh, saturation test is very useful because we don't do preconditioning and when you do the right saturation it shows you how the drive performs initially right out of the box before you do any preconditioning. So if somebody were to advertise a drive that's brand new and has some number of IOPS, we can see that when we start the right saturation test but then you'll see the performance degrade over time and settle out into a range that we call steady state. The latency histogram is something that's also very important for enterprise customers because it shows you the frequency of your latency distributions. So it's very important when a customer wants to have a maximum ceiling on latencies so that if my application can't withstand waiting for a certain period of time for an operation, they can specify that you know no operation should take longer than X number of milliseconds to complete. Okay, how did the P300 per, uh, perform compared to the competition? It was performing very well. In fact, uh, it was one of the highest performance SSC drives we've seen lately. Um, the P300 takes advantage of a six gigabit per second SAS HBA card. So that means that you can get above the 300 megabytes per second throughput numbers that we've seen on other devices. The P300 showed up to 478 uh, megabytes per second for reads and was around 331 megabytes per second for writes. That's about twice as fast as the X25 and the Samsung. For IOPS, which is a small block transfer of uh, input-output operations per second, it was very, very fast. Uh, we, sh we saw initial readings of 4K random writes of about 20,000 IOPS at steady state compared to 1,100 and 7,500 for the Intel and the Samsung. So that's two and a half to 16 times faster for small block IOPS. Oh, well, great. Well, thank you for talking with us and enjoy the show. Okay, thank you. Thanks.